Hello and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is a 15 minute low impact workout. No equipment needed, just our body weight. And what we're gonna aim to do is 15 moves in 15 minutes. And we're gonna do 40 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 20 second rest. Take your time, slow controlled reps. It's not a race, just focus on technique and form. That's the most important thing. First exercise, you need 40 seconds of squats. So you wanna get your feet, just kind of shoulder width apart or a little bit wider, you can turn them out, you can be completely parallel. But the aim here is to sit down into those heels, nice straight back, drive through the heels, squeeze the quads and the glutes at the top, and again, repeat the slow, controlled reps, lowering yourself and standing up nice and straight. Here we go, first exercise. So we want to try and keep the back straight, arms come out in front, and then we're driving through the heels of the feet. If you find that your feet are, um, like your heels are coming off the ground, Maybe your calves are a bit tight, your hips are a bit tight, you can just turn the feet out slightly, a bit wider, and that's gonna allow you to sit a bit deeper into that squat. So sitting down nice and slowly, and obviously go as deep as you can, back straight, drive through the heels, and repeat. So this is just the first move, just to warm up the hips, warm up the legs. We're not jumping into it, we're not gonna go too quick. A Bit more time under tension, so slower on the way down. Pause for a second, and slowly come out and relax. Right, that's our first move complete. Next up, we're gonna do a similar exercise. This time, we're gonna do a pulsing squat. So we're gonna go a bit wider, feet turned out slightly, a bit more of a sumo position, sumo squat, and we're gonna pulse. So we're gonna go down and pulse nice and low. We're gonna do five pulses and then stand up. So let's go, five reps. So one, two, three, four, five, and fully stand up and repeat. One, two, three, four, five, and stand. Same thing, nice straight arms. Get those little pulses. So weight in the heels again, stand up tall. Remember, drive those knees out, don't let the knees cave in, drive them out. Back straight, five pulses, and stand. Right, that's working the, working the quads. So again, a little pulse, five reps, and come up. Last set, now come down for five pulses. Right, we're gonna give our legs a rest. We're now gonna go down into a mountain climbing position, and we're gonna do a slow motion mountain climber. So rather than be kind of full speed, pumping the knees like this, I wanna do it really slow. So obviously this takes a little bit of wrist mobility. We're just gonna put our weight through our hands and then bring the knee in. So just one, two, one, two. So really slow it down, knees to chest, we're trying to hold this strong plank position, so we're not dipping into it. We're not up here like this. Like that's the base, the plank. One knee in and out. So this is a silent, you can do this in complete silence. If you've got neighbors below you, or someone in the room next door, you can literally do all these moves without making a single bang on the floor or the ceiling. So slow reps. All right, five seconds. And Relax. So that's working your abs, but also your upper body strength and your legs. It's good to slow it down. You feel it a little bit more through the abs as well. Okay, next up we're gonna do a half, I call this a half burpee. Basically you're gonna put your hands on the ground, step back, step forwards, and just sit in the squat. So basically, stop, sit there and repeat. So hands on the floor, step back into the plank, step forwards, feet are flat, hold that position and repeat. So sort of sitting into a squat hold. So step back, sit flat feet. One, two, three, four, and sit. So you're really holding that squat position there. Your knees are driven out. Step back. That's a good last few reps. Make sure those feet land nice and flat. Hold that position. Last one, step back, step forward, sit, and and come up. So you can feel the legs having to work there. So next one we're gonna do is gonna be a squat. Quite leg heavy this bit. We're gonna squat into a kind of side kick. So we're gonna squat down and as you come up, just kick your like right leg out to the side, then come down and kick leg leg out, uh, left leg out. So down, kick, squat, and just raise that leg up as high as you can laterally. Feel your glutes have to activate as you kick up, squat down low, and drive the leg up. So you're gonna feel that standing leg has to work quite hard. 
That's it, slow reps. Slow and step. Good work, we're gonna go down onto our hands and knees afterwards for an upper body exercise, so let's give our legs a little rest. Again, the aim is to try and get deep into the squat, come up and then lift. Last couple of reps, doing really well, keep up and rest. Right, so yeah, that definitely works with quads and you can feel it when that foot leg comes up just to kind of activate your glutes. So now we're gonna try, if you can, go for full push-ups. If you can't, let's just go from the knees. Chest, if we can, come to the floor. So chest and push, really extend. Straighten the arms out, let's go. So bend that elbow, chest to the floor, and then press up. It's much harder to have your elbow tucked in than it is to bring them out like this. And go super wide. Now try if you can, a bit more neutral, elbows tucked in slightly. Press from there, you really have to work the triceps there. All right, tuck them in and push. 20 seconds. Again, slow them down. We want the strength on the way down. It's not just about dropping and bouncing up, like really control it. Control it on the way down, push up. Last five seconds. One more rep. There you go. It doesn't have to be a full push up to really work the chest and triceps. You can reduce that resistance, stay on the knees until you get the strength. And when you feel like you've got the strength, then you can go up onto a full push up. So we're now going to go for an elbow plank. So we're going to stay on the ground, elbows on the floor. We're going to lift ourselves up and we're going to try and hold this position here. So 40 seconds like this. If that's too tough, you haven't got the strength in your core yet, just drop the knees. Same thing, brace the core, uh, belly button up towards your spine, flat tummy, and just squeeze those abs. Whew. Really think about the muscles you're working now. Whew. So we're going to be up on our feet after this one. Whew. If your lower back starts to kick in and you're struggling, finish on the knees. It's better than that, to have a, it's better than having a dip just to bend the knees and get that same muscle working, supposedly, sorry, as opposed to just like dipping and Losing the strength, so stay up if you can. If not, finish on the knees. Ah, and relax. Right, we're gonna stand up now. We're nearly there. This is number um, number eight, exercise number eight of 15. So we're gonna basically march on the spot, but we're gonna just bring our elbow across the body. So really sort of march up nice and high, knee to your chest, towards your chest, and bring it up and across. Off we go. So you can go slow. You can go a bit faster. Just try and bring that knee across the body. So it's gonna work your abs as you kick across. Keep going, got 25 seconds. Then we're gonna go into a, a lunging exercise. Get those legs working again. They're the biggest muscle groups. So if we can get them working, we burn more energy, burn more calories. 15 seconds, drive that knee up. That's it. Try and get your heart rate up now. Try and sort of think about elevating your heart rate on every move. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, here we go, number nine. What we're gonna do is a reverse lunge. So, feet at the front of the mat, you're gonna go right leg back, reverse lunge, back to the center, and then a lateral lunge. So just stand on that right leg. So, right leg back, center, right leg back to the side, center. So just working this one leg. Let's go, so reverse lunge, step that foot out to the side, bend, Center, back, center, good. We're just working this right thigh now. So drive, back, step out to the side. You're gonna feel a bit of a stretch through your hip flexors and your groin. So bend, try to sort of bend this knee, load this quad, stretch through there. And we've got 15 seconds left, then we're gonna switch, switch sides. Doing great, keep, oh, keep it up. Keep going to the bell. You could always increase the resistance. You could hold a little dumbbell or a kettlebell or something you wanted to make it a bit tougher. But this is really a kind of you know, beginner, low impact workout just to get you moving, wake up the muscles, also you know, increase the range of motion of your hips. You've really got to think about you know, getting that mobility to be able to drop that knee down. So having flexible hip flexors, having that range of motion in your joints. So now we go left leg back. Left leg back, center, out to the left. Back to the center, good and reverse lunge each time. So work on this other side now. Whew. Big step back. If you find that's really stretching, you might not have, you might not be able to get right down there, so you may just 
may just be a bit more of a, a kind of shallower lunge to the side, but just a little bend if you can, back to the center, reverse. 15 seconds, then we go down on the ground for another upper body exercise. Stretch that leg and repeat. Last couple of reps, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Right, we're gonna go into a kind of, like a bit of a plank position, but slightly different. So you're gonna be on all fours like this, and what you're gonna do from there is just lift your knees off the ground. So that already like, brings your quads into it and your core. And from there, if you can, if you wanna just hold that, it's fine. If you can, tap the shoulder. Off we go. So you go left, right, left, right. And the knees aren't really high up. They're literally just off the ground. So that's too difficult doing the shoulders. Have to just hold that position there. Get used to that. Your arms are going to work. Your shoulders are working. Your quads are really fired up just to keep you off the ground like that. 20 seconds left. Tap. Tap if you can. Without rocking. Keep the abs tight. Keep, this, keep your abs engaged. 10 seconds. Slow. Oh, it's really hard when you take that hand off the ground and relax. You feel that with the quads, right? We're almost there. Help me get last four moves. So we're now going to go for a kind of a bit like a march on the spot. We're going to lift our hands up. And as we come up, we stretch up, bring the knee up towards the hands and kind of pull down into it. Let's go. Let's stretch up. We've got another three more moves after this. We're going to do a couple on our backs on the mat for the abs. Drive the knee up, stretch. This is a great little start. Look, it's only 15 minutes, it goes quick. It's enough to get you going. And if it is your first workout, you know, you might feel a bit stiff tomorrow because these moves, you might not have done you know, any squats and the kind of low pulsing stuff, but come back, have a little rest day, come back, give it another go. You'll find it easier, you'll get stronger. 10 seconds, stretch up. Okay, last push. Five, lift the knee up. Four, three, two, one, and relax, right. We're gonna go down on the ground now for two exercises on the abs. So laying flat on our backs, if you can get down, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a single bicycle crunch. So basically hands on your temples, and we're just gonna go elbow to knee, off we go. So one foot stays on the ground, elbow reaches the knee. Again, it's a slow movement. So we're bringing the knee towards us, but also we're crunching up to meet the knee. Sit down. Wake these abs up, wake these muscles up, make them work. They're just like another muscle. You've got to stretch it and then shorten it. Pull it, contract it, 15 seconds. Inhale on the way down. Exhale, as you crunch up, inhale. Relax. Okay, we've got one more abs exercise. This is a reverse crunch, I like this one because you can keep your head and neck, shoulders on the ground, so it kind of takes that pressure off your neck. And what we're gonna do is hands by our side, bring our knees towards us. So heels hit the ground, and then reverse crunch into yourself, and that's where you're gonna feel it when you bring the knees up and, and, and hips off the ground. Let's go. Heels to the ground, and rotate. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you bring your knees towards you. Definitely gonna feel that in the abs. Heels to the floor, and then knees to the chest. Oh, I feel this one a lot. Just trying to hold your breath. There's a tendency to kind of hold your breath when you're in your abs, but really, really keep the breathing going. Right, come on. Last few seconds, last one. Uh, oh, and rest, right, this is it, last move. This is a, a kind of walkout, it's called, I call it a walkout, so we're gonna start in a, walk, a standing position, hands on the floor, walk out, like into this, into a plank. When you walk back, we stand up and we repeat. So walk out, like this, into that high plank position, so you walk out to there, walk back, and stand up. And again, walk the hands out nice and slow into that high plank, walking back and stand up. This is it, last 25 seconds, end of the workout. 
Great little finish. Stretch. Walk out again. Come on, sit it nice and low impact, but still moving all the big muscle groups. We're going to build some strength, build up our fitness to progress onto the next level of workouts. Five seconds, one more. Walk out, plank, walk back, stand up, and we did it. There you go, nice and sweet. 15 minutes, in and out. But it's a great session. We woke up our joints, we woke up our muscles. Hope you enjoyed that workout. Thanks for tuning in to the Body Coach TV. I do have hundreds of workouts in the library. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, there's abs workouts, dumbbell stuff, so please check them out. There's loads of content. Hit subscribe, comment below, let me know what you want to see more of. I'm always looking to read the feedback to see what it is you want to see on this channel. Because aside from the Body Coach app, I love sharing free content here on the app, uh, on the Body Coach YouTube channel. So thanks again for tuning in. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon for another workout right here on the Body Coach TV. Good luck.